Hi guys, back again with another tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial, we're going to learn how you use uh, the Bitminers we have on our server. It's a pretty new Bitminer add-on. I'll put the Bitminer add-on um, into the description if you want to check if it's the same add-on as on your server. So basically what you need to do is you need your Bitmining shelf. Um, that costs 55k on our server. And then you got this. If you want to max it out, like a max bit mining rack, it costs 300k, and you can do it with two racks. So I'll just be showing you like one max rack right now, like how to set it up and how to do it properly. So like one full rack, well, what you need to do is buy a cooling three upgrade. That will make the cooling way more efficient uh, than cooling upgrade two or one. You buy three power supplies. Once you've got those power supplies, you take your grav gun out and put them into the bitminer. Once those are in, you'll see that you have like plugins for your bitminers. So what you then do, what I do then, is I buy my generator. I put my generator above my uh, my bitminer so I can see it more properly. Because then you can watch the fuel properly. I uh, buy my fuel. Put the fuel in there. And then I buy a power cord or a power cable. And you first need to put your power cable end in the side of the generator. And then you plug it into the side uh, of the bitminer. It plugs in automatically. Uh, then that works. And what I recommend doing is then starting up your bitminer already and not turning it on. Because if you turn it on, okay, it needs to generate power. So that's doing that now. But the temperature will go up um, if you leave it on. So we'll just leave it off. So then it'll generate power and you can fill up your bit mining rack while it's generating power for you. So it's not getting heat, but it's generating the power you need so you can start making money faster. Alright, so now my whole rack is full, and if you turn it on, you'll see it needs to generate 8,400 watts. But the watts have gone up since I turned it off before. Now you see that the temperature is going up. So what I do is just leave them off and wait for the time. Like, if this one, like if your generator is out of fuel, it'll be almost done or just done making the power. So we'll, I'll see you back when the power of the bit miners are completely done. Right, so now um, when the bit mining rack has made power, I refuel my generator, and then what I do is just let my generator run out of fuel, and then the temperature will be around 80 degrees Celsius, if I'm not wrong. It might have been adjusted. It's been a while since I played. That's why the, as I said, like the watts wasn't done when the when the generator was almost out. So it might be different, but I'll just now let, let the generator run out of fuel. And then you'll see how much money it gives you uh, for that like time being and like how high the temperature goes. I suggest like just letting out your letting run out your generator because else if it overheats, like if it gets to 100 degrees, your bit minor health goes down. It goes from like 150, it can like break basically. So I just let it run out. Um, before, uh, and instead of like doing it and keep it on going like to 100 degrees Celsius, because then it makes the the cooldown process take longer, and it's like a, a harder downtime, and you need to like check every time if it's not overheating and anything. So I'll see you guys back when the generators run out of fuel. Alright, so the generator is almost out of fuel. I'll just let it run out real quick. Alright, so now it's run out of fuel. I'll just refuel it so you guys can see. So it was around 75 degrees and 102k in that period. So what you've got to do then, like when it shuts down from the fuel running out, I just let it cool down for a minute or two. 
and then the temperature should be at zero again and you just rinse and repeat that process and that's how you make money with the bit miner. I hope you found this guide very useful and good luck playing.